Hi everyone, I'm Brian Corsetti, hanging out with Pete Hammond, Deadlines Awards columnist, discussing Pete's picks for this year's Academy Awards. Pete, what is different about the Oscars this Sunday? Music, it's gonna be singing, dancing, all that kind of stuff that uh, people come to the Oscars for. Actually, it's what they come to the Grammys for, but they're gonna get it at the Oscars this year too. I was over interviewing the producers, uh, Craig Zayden and Neil Merrin. They come from a strong musical background. They produce Chicago, Hairspray, a lot of Broadway shows, TV smash. They are determined to bring music back in a big way to the Academy Awards. They've got Barbara Streisand singing on the show for the first time in 36 wow. years, only the second time she's agreed to do the show. They've got Shirley Bassey coming in for this James Bond uh, musical tribute. You know, she did Goldfinger it's and Diamonds Are Forever. 50th anniversary, right? 50th anniversary of Bond, and it's not going to be a reunion of the James Bonds like a lot of media, not me, because I keep saying it's not a reunion, but it's a musical tribute. While we're talking about Bond, what is your favorite Bond movie and Bond? Well, I love it, and I'm glad they have Shirley Bassey, because my favorite Bond movie is also my favorite Bond. Sean Connery in Goldfinger. You can't beat a Goldfinger, you know, and she's going to sing that on the show. See, I'm a Pierce Brosnan guy. Uh, I like Goldfinger, though, mm -hmm. and I played the uh, GoldenEye video game like crazy. Oh, there you go, and that was Pierce's first uh, Bond right, film. First he, Bond he's film. very good. And there's going to be this big, huge tribute to the uh, great movie musicals of the last 10 years. Dream Girls, Jennifer Hudson's going to be there, Catherine Zeta-Jones for Chicago, and the entire cast of Les Mis. It's going to be a huge night for music at the Oscars. So that's what's different. And I think the movies, there are six movies that have made over $100 million this year. Last year, there was one out of nine. It was The Help. That was the only one that had made over $100 million. So it's going to be really interesting this year with so many movies so widely seen. Generally, that translates into ratings. If people have an interest in the movies, they have an interest in the Oscars. Incredible. Well said, Pete. For more information, check out Deadline.com. And you want to make sure to follow Pete on Twitter at DeadlinePete. I'm Brian Corsetti. Thanks for watching, everyone. Everyone.